Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel, Cotson. And I'm Dennis, and today what we're going to do, we're going to start up a series called DNS Explained, where we break down all the DNS records or zones in order to make a zone that needs in order to get your computer or your server up and running and everything configured properly. But we're going to do it one step at a time. And today what we're going to do, we're going to do C name. We're going to explain a little bit about C name and then we go from there. So what I did, I made a little diagram that kind of give us an overall picture. Y'all bear with me. I know it looks confusing, but I'm going to break everything down to you. It shouldn't be long, this video. But this is the overall picture of everything it's going to take in order to get your server up and running or a website in order to get stuff back and forth, you know, to face. So let's break it down to number one. Yes, yeah, you can tell I got everything numbered. So let's say you're, this is the client and they want to access, let's say, my website, Kotzen, Kotzen.com. So they type in their name right here on Kotzen.com and it is sent out a request, as you can see, number one. It sends out a request over to what they call a DNS resolver. This is this com computer, the server right here. And this DNS resolver, what it does, this uh, is basically, it takes that name, kotzen.com, and it translates it into an IP address. This is because we, as humans, it's hard for us to remember all these numbers, but we can remember a name. So, but computers do not recognize names; they recognize the IP address. So, basically, the DNS resolver will take the name and translate it to an IP address. And once it does it, it'll go to number two, and you see this arrow pointing straight up to this root server. This root server is the first stop into getting a computer. IP address, and basically it, it'll tell the resolver, hey, this is the IP address, or this is where the top level domain lives, it's a .com name, so it, it'll send back the message, as you can see the dotted line, number three, it'll send it right back to the resolver saying, hey, this is the uh, .com TLD server, and this is where it's at, so the resolver then will contact the top level domain server which is the second one and then it say okay we got this domain name in here and this is the domain name and it'll send it back to the resolver and the resolver will take that and then it's going to send it to the last one and it is called the authoritative server and this is where you're basically got your uh dns uh ip address and everything where it's uh, keeping up where everything you got kind of like a let's say name cheap or uh, GoDaddy or something and it says hey this uh domain name got an IP address of this here or the, this is the domain name and it sends it back to the DNS resolver the DNS resolver then takes kotzen.com and sends it back to this client where it connects and goes straight to kotzen I know that sounds kind of confusing, but that's the overall picture, y'all. So, but we're going to break it down and we're going to do uh, what we talk about next. What is a C name and how does it relate? And I, and, and I know, y'all, the first ones is going to be very boring and stuff. Don't worry about it. I'm just going to get through this just so I can show y'all what I'm talking about. A C name is what they call a conical name. That just abbreviate a C name just abbreviations for that. You know, the C in the conical with the word name. And that's basically what it amounts to. It's just a, a abbreviation of the name. And what it does, and, and again, that these are just the only two what we're gonna talk about. It's gonna go to, it melts alias's name to the conical name. And I'm going to explain to you what these two mean. So y'all don't worry about it and just bear with me. Well, I'm going to get you there in just about two or three minutes. So look at what we've got right now. www.cotson.com And if you look at www.cotson.com, as you can tell, it is an alias or a subname. What does that mean? That means this www that's in front of Kotzen 
Anything in front of this with the dot is a sub or alias. And so that's, it could be an FTP, it could be anything, but if it's got a, a dot in names in front of cots, and that is gonna be an alias or a subdomain. And this is where we need C name in order to translate it over to the conical name. All right, so see, as you can tell, the www in front of Kotzen is the subdomain or alias. And what it does, it transports it over or it, it converts it over to our conical name, which is Kotzen.com. As you can tell, Kotzen.com is the conical name. And when I say conical name, it basically is, is the name that it, it recognized. So anything, just remember, this is so simple on this part. Anything in front of Kotzen.com, this is the conical name. This is the name that it's going to resolve to. But anything in front of it with a period, it could be FTP, it could be anything that you have at or with a dot in front of it, and that's going to be a subdomain. So that's pretty much the, the gist of what a C name is and how it translates over to that. So, but before we go, I just want to show you uh, a computer on what's my net dot, or what's my dns.net. As you can tell, when I search a name, I'm going through Cloudflare. So Cloudflare, uh, go ahead and, and basically mask my real uh, IP address and put theirs there. But if I use C name, and, and I'm gonna get this in, most C names will translate, but under uh, Cloudflare, it doesn't. See, I put that, and it's got all X's, because Cloudflare used a C name flattening. And we're going to talk about that later. But as you can tell, if I go to DNS, well, because I got that WWL on there, because that makes it a subdomain, but when I go to DNS for the Kotzen, you can tell all the Cloudflare shows up. So this is the last thing I want to show y'all. If I put www.kotcyn.com, click it, as you can tell, it takes the www off and it just takes me straight over to Kotzen. So what it's doing is basically uh, taking that the alias and it, it it's a value overs to Kotzen and that's all it does. All right, y'all, uh, like, comment, and subscribe.